Five, when you hear or see something's on sale, you probably assume it's a limited time deal. But it turns out it may be anything but that. As Julie Watts explains, many sales aren't exactly great deals after all. The best part of bargain hunting is finding a great deal. Michael Kors, 60% off. And many, like Dana Wark, won't spend unless they're saving. I don't tend to buy designer things unless they are completely on sale. It's something retailers know, and according to a new study, something they're cashing in on. The group Consumers Checkbook tracked sale prices at 19 national chains and found over 10 months, the sale prices rarely changed. Six stores kept certain items on sale more than 75% of the time. For example, this Keurig at Macy's was on sale nine out of the 10 months, and this Craftsman Toolkit at Sears was on so-called sale for 10 months straight. It is highly deceptive to be sure. Consumer advocate Joe Rideout points out, if the regular price was never the real price, then the item was never actually on sale. It's a way that stores are manipulating consumers into overspending or buying things that they may not buy otherwise because they're planting the seed that this is some special discount. And he says once the sale gets you into the store, they know you'll buy more. I also got stuff for my grandson for Easter. Now, this isn't a new phenomenon. TJ Maxx, Burlington, and Nordstrom Rack have all faced lawsuits for dishonest comparison pricing, and Kohl's was accused of marking prices up just to mark them down. What is new? The survey found two chains are holding what it calls legitimate sales. At Costco and Bed Bath & Beyond, the sale prices were only in place less than half the time. Now, we reached out to all six of the stores accused of holding sales that last nearly year-round, and only JCPenney got back to us saying that it employs a promotional pricing model used often in the retail industry. In San Francisco, I'm Julie Watts.